गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून एंड गुड इवनिंग प्यारे बच्चों यू नो मूविंग अहेड विद मोशन इन प्लेन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल बी कॉन्सेंट्रेटिंग इन सर्कुलर मोशन सर्कुलर मोशन ऑल्सो इज अ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मोशन इन प्लेन जस्ट थिंक ऑफ इन सर्कुलर मोशन वट बेसिकली हैपन्स एंड वट मेक्स अ मोशन सर्कुलर मोशन ओके हाउ वी डिफाइन सर्कुलर मोशन लेटस सी circular motion basically is the kind of motion when a body moves around a fixed point this is our fixed point okay body moves around the fixed point if fixed point point ke around move kar raha hai in such a way that it's always at a fixed distance from the fixed point what i said body moves around the fixed point in such a way its distance from the fixed point body fixed point is always fixed okay this is our body this is the fixed point it's okay the distance between body and fixed point is always fixed this fix point is called as center of the circular path and the fixed distance is called as radius as already you know nothing special i am saying okay this already we have discussed when we started uh, with mechanics the same thing i told you now some specific variables related to circular motion okay like angular displacement displacement of the body in terms of angle when a body is moving on circular path the same way angular speed or angular velocity and same way angular acceleration let us see how to define those variables angular displacement ab dekho when a body moves around the circular path okay when a body moves around the circular path ab dekho suppose body at certain point of time is here and after some time it is here angular displacement kaise define karenge angle traced by the radius vector ye jo radius vector draw kiya na initial position ka फाइनल पोजिशन रेडियस वैक्टर तो एंगल ट्रेस एंगल ट्रेवर्स एंगल स्वेप्ट बाय द रेडियस वैक्टर ड्रॉन फ्रॉम इनिशियल टू फाइनल टाइम फ्रॉम इनिशियल टू फाइनल पोजिशन इन सर्टन गिवन टाइम ओके दिस इज योर एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट आराम से इसको पॉज करके रीड करो वट एवर आई सेट दैट सेम थिंग इज नोट आवर हिया ठीक है बेटा नो दिस एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट ओके द यूनिट्स फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वांटिटी स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट इज रेडियन वॉट आई सेट रेडियन इट्स ओके नो विच टाइप ऑफ क्वांटिटी दिस इज यू मोस्ट बी थिंकिंग ओके angular displacement okay this is a vector quantity but conditional has to be when the angular displacement is very small you can say infinitely small it's okay and when we say angle big angle when we are talking of big angle that angular displacement is not a not a vector quantity what i said angular displacement is a vector when the angle is very much small but is it it is scalar when the angle is big when the angular displacement is big when the angle is infinitely small angular displacement is a vector quantity but 
when the value of angle is large big angular displacement is a scalar quantity it's okay its direction when it is vector is given by right hand thumb rule right hand thumb rule same way curling of the fingers okay curling of the fingers and the thumb line perpendicular to the curl of the fingers okay same way we will be applying the right hand thumb rule okay if we have if we have angular displacement like this you just try curling your fingers this is anti clockwise this is anti clockwise pause karke right hand thumb rule apply karo and tell me the direction of uh, angular displacement just think of now when applying right hand thumb rule okay fingers will be curled like this fingers of right hand will be curled like this with thumb perpendicular to the finger line pointing perpendicularly out from the page just note just just do it perpendicularly out from the page when angular displacement is perpendicularly out from page when your object is going around on circular path moving anti clockwise okay angular displacement points perpendicularly out from the page okay and when the object moves around circular path in clockwise direction now what will happen apply right hand thumb rule angular displacement will be perpendicularly inside the page which type of vector this will be batao jaldi se this will be an axial type of vector theek hai beta it's done now let's take angular velocity angular velocity a body moving around a circular path it's okay angle traced from initial to final is say this theta or delta theta in time delta t it's okay now angle traced by a body moving around circular path angle traced by the radius vector when a body is moving around circular path with respect to time with respect to time is called as angular velocity it's clear beta what i said angular velocity it is written by omega is equal to angle traced angle swept by the radius vector at center with respect to time with respect to time or other way you can say rate of change of angular displacement with time in simple notation we can say that angular displacement with respect to time aram se isko pause karke beta read kar lo theek hai same thing okay but different language is used okay to ye two types two types se maine likh diya theek mathematically we write angular displacement by omega that is angular displacement with respect to time okay aur uh, limit time ke upar kya hai delta theta approaches zero it's okay theek hai beta differential form mein you can write it like this d by dt differentiation with respect to time kiska angular displacement ka d theta by dt it's okay now units units of angular velocity radian per second radian per second because we write omega is equal to delta theta by delta t na 
तो डेल्टा थीटा इज यू नो हैविंग यूनिट रेडियन एंड दिस इज डाय ओके रेडियन पर सेकेंड वी कैन वाइट इट लाइक दिस आल्सो इट्स ओके नाउ एंगुलर वेलोसिटी दिस इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी दिस इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी सिमिलर टू डेल्टा थीटा इट्स ओके now you must be thinking if angular displacement is a vector quantity okay how we will be getting the direction of uh, angular display angular velocity sir okay angular velocity is a vector quantity how we will be getting the direction of angular velocity it is again the direction we will be getting by right hand thumb rule mean whatever will be the direction of angular displacement vector the same will be direction of omega because sense of rotation will tell me the direction of angular displacement and same sense of rotation is going to tell me about angular velocity okay so both will be having same direction as the direction in both the cases is given by right hand thumb rule hope this is clear now angular acceleration you know angular acceleration concept jo aata hai wo kis situation mein aata hai pehle to wo situation samjho body going around circular path theek hai at certain point of time body ka jo angular velocity hai wo omega 1 hai angular velocity ab change kar raha hai theek hai and at certain point of time angular velocity is omega 2 matlab angular velocity constant nahi hai mean same angle is not traveled okay in same time kyunki angular velocity constant tabhi hota na if same angle is traveled in same time body is not moving body is going non uniformly its angular velocity is changing from point to point let angular uh, velocity is omega 1 at time t1 and is omega 2 at time t2 so angular acceleration basically is rate of change of angular velocity with respect to time aaram se isko pause karke read karo beta definition if mathematically we are writing okay angular acceleration it is written by alpha okay delta omega by delta t rate of change of angular velocity with respect to time in differential notation we can write it like this d omega by d t it's okay clear beta what about uh, units units of uh, angular acceleration kya honge dekho iske units hain radian per second aur time fir se aa gaya second per second to ye ban gaya radian capital r banega beta radian per second square it's okay theek hai now what about which type of quantity alpha is angular acceleration this is a vector quantity vector quantity these are some you know basic things about uh, you know circular motion we will be taking some more things about uh, circular motion in next lecture thank you have a nice day